If you've ever smashed down a sandcastle or a snowman, you'll have some experience in the field of demolition. But not as much as me. Hi, I'm Mick, and I'm in charge of pulling this multi-storey building down. Just like every other big demolition job, there's a lot of steps that need to be taken. Come with me and I'll explain. Demolition is the tearing down of buildings and other structures, and many different types of equipment are used for the job. Cranes, excavators, bulldozers, trucks, Wrecking balls and explosives can all be used in the demolition process, while fire hoses and hydraulic jacks and hammers are other common tools of the trade. Now imploding a building with explosive is the most spectacular way to bring down a building. This method of demolition is sometimes used on large buildings, tall chimneys and other big structures, and the aim is to have them fall into their own footprint. An imploding building takes just seconds to collapse, but a very long time to prepare. Also, implosion isn't always 100% safe due to the danger of flying debris. Another method of demolition which is cool to watch involves a crane with a huge wrecking ball. Wrecking balls are sometimes used to demolish a structure down to a certain height, at which point excavators and other machines can take over. But, just like building implosion, demolition by wrecking ball isn't always the safest way to go. But implosion or wrecking balls are no longer used in Australia today. These days to demolish we take a few more steps. The process of taking down a multi-storey building starts with the erection of scaffolding. Scaffolding consists of steel framework enclosed with shade cloth and in places with plywood and carpet as well. The framework supports work platforms while other materials prevent dust and rubble from escaping the site. Then after all the scaffold is completed, we get stuck into knocking down the walls. Since we demolish the building from the top down, we're always working on the upmost floor. We use small excavators to pull down the walls and the columns on this level and we hammer out its concrete floor too. The rubble is then picked up by bobcats and put down a dump chute. On the ground, the materials are then moved with a large excavator onto the back of a truck. Then we drop all our machinery down to the next level, then that is repeated all the way until we hit the ground. This building was originally eight storeys tall, but we've already reduced half of it to rubble. The smashed up concrete, bricks and steel go off to be recycled, while the rubbish gets taken to landfill. Yep, there's more to demolishing a building than a sandcastle, but it doesn't make it any less fun. Dougie, load those trucks! Right, 